on to our next race, which is race number four. It's over the 1800 metres for the class fours. And we've got Rule Lee, a two time 1800 metre winner. Fast Pace has been running on at his last two. He steps up to the 1800 metres. Natural Storm was placed at the trip on the 9th of May. Gear change on Crown Avenue, disappointed after leading up at uh, Chartin last time. The blinkers come off. Eight Bulb Elite also has the blinkers off. Beauty Angel trialled and ran second behind Mighty Vela prior to the third at Happy Valley. Circuit number one steps from the mile to the 1800 metres. And Lucky Victor, no form to speak of, but has won two trials at Chungfa leading into this race. And he's obviously been up there, Tom, with the 10 Beauty Angel. Yeah, so the speed here in uh, this race, uh, good to slow. Circuit number one, Bulb Elite again in this race. Um, there are quite a, a few horses that potentially can be uh, up uh, there vying for the speed. There are two of them. Crown Avenue is another one. Polymere Luck uh, is a horse that has led in the past, and Beauty Angel might end up pressing on with it from gate number 14. So a few different scenarios to play out up front. Kaying Brilliance is actually another horse that uh, can be fairly forward as well. You'd imagine they'd spread out a little bit further over 1,800 metres. This horse has had a good season, Indigenous Star. Uh, he's drawn a little bit wide for this contest, but he's a two-time winner already this season, and he moves nicely down the back straight. Stretches out well, so he's in good heart and uh, moves nicely. Fast pace. Now, he steps up to 1,800 metres from the 1,400 metres. Looks ideal for him, being by Savabil. He's caught the eye in both his two starts. Hit the line strongly both times, so the distance looks good, and he'll be fit here after two runs. And the other one, circuit number one, he's in the front here of Beauty Angel, who's also in this race. So two horses coming at, out of this race, and they both moved nicely here this morning. Uh, circuit number one, another one where the 1,800 looks ideal. We're going to start our replays, Tom, with fast pace. Only had the two starts late. Scratched on what was to be his other start when he went off in the barriers, but he's been running on well at both the outings. Yeah, he certainly has a faster pace. Uh, last time out over 1,400 metres. Just the way he was getting to the line over the final stages, you could still see he was near last at about the 300 metres. But I thought the way he got home over the final stages, up to 1,800 metres would really suit him. A gelding by Savabili. He looks a little bit of a, a one batter for me. Yeah, he does, and that's why I think the 1,800 metres looks ideal. He doesn't give it away. You can see the best part of this race was the last 50 metres where he finished up really nicely. So I'm going to take a chance with him at double-figure price. Natural storm, Paul. He won his best race in this race. It was two starts ago when second. Did he not get the 2,000 since this? Yeah, that's the query, wasn't it? Uh, he did have a little bit of a, an issue there. He did get bumped at the start there, so I don't know how much that took out of him. But, uh, look, I think he's the hardest to beat here. Back to the 1,800 metres, as you said. Mark, looks ideal for him. Vincent Ho knows the horse well. He's drawn a little bit wide. He'll get back, but he's got plenty of time. That 1,800 metre start is probably the most kindest start for wide runners here in Hong Kong. Again, he was still getting to the line fairly well here uh, over the um, trip there that occasion, but maybe yeah, the 2,000 metres might have stretched him last time out because, again, I thought he was a little bit one pace in the straight. And we've got Epta Win stepping up to 1,800 metres. He's a horse that's been running on very well over shorter distances, Tom. Yeah, he has been. Uh, Zach Purton uh, stays with him. He was on board last time out from a wide stall. He hasn't had much luck with the barriers. He drew uh, gate number one when he ran second at uh, Happy Valley. And uh, then last time out had gate number 10. But he was only beaten three and a half lengths. He was only just beaten two starts ago. But he made uh, some good ground here from uh, well back. It wasn't a real explosive turn of foot. He was another one that just kept grinding away. Yeah, I think the horse, David Hall's got the horse going nicely enough here. So, yeah, I've definitely got him in. I think he's another one of the major players in the race. Well, we've seen circuit number one, the grey in track work. Here he is again. This is his fifth polymer luck and carrying brilliance finishing further down the field in this. Is it a question of which circuit number one may turn up? Yeah, because he's a monkey, right? He, he just plays up quite a bit. Circuit number one, he's, I think the ability is there over the longer trips. Uh, the 1,800 metres will look, um, does look ideal for him. He's drawn 12. But as I mentioned, that 800 metre start, is, they've got the whole straight, back straight to, to get into positions. I think he can get forward and lead the race and dictate. So, look, I did find a spot for him on a very minor line. Yeah, I didn't put him in. He's impossible to catch. Had the trail and boxed on OK uh, last time out. Some of his antics and what he gets up to, um, you wonder if he's got a screw loose sometimes. He's not the easiest horse to try and pick his character, what kind of mood he's in. And his replay and Epta wins were both on yielding tracks. It shouldn't be yielding track at Sha Tin on Wednesday. OK, Paul, selections. Going to go with fast pace. Third up now, up to 1,800 metres. Looks ideal. Uh, the horse keeps improving. I think he can improve and win at a double-figure price. The favourite, Natural Storm, looks the hardest to beat. He'd probably start favourite or Epta wins. I think those will be the two main ones in the market. So of the three, four, five, seven, and then we'll give the... Um, 
the character one in there for fourth. Circuit number one, the 11. Four, five, seven, 11. I thought this was a, a tricky race. He ended up uh, signing with number five, Natural Storm. I thought the drop back would uh, help him. Maybe 2,000 metres wasn't quite to his uh, absolute liking last time out. He was a little bit one pace in his recent trial. He's had since then two uh, Natural Storm. Fast pace goes in. Uh, he stayed on OK last time out to suggest maybe 1,800 metres is right up his alley. Epta wins Zach Purton and David Hall. He made ground from uh, beyond midfield. And Indigenous, uh, father, rather... Uh, Lucky Victor was the other one I threw in number 13. Uh, Jimmy Ting and Alex Lai was poor in his four runs, but he's been up to uh, Chung Fa and trialled really well. And he's been on speed in both of those trials. So I thought he won well enough. So he's at a big price at uh, nearly 40 to 1. So 5, 4, 7 and 13. It's the four, the five and the seven from both Paul and Tom in slightly different order each of them. We're off to a break here on Racing to Win. Still plenty more to preview.